New details in a story we first told you about last night. A hazing investigation underway tonight involving a small town high school varsity football team. Channel 2's Bill Barajas is live outside of Montgomery High School tonight. And Bill, you've been working on this story for days and tonight we're finally getting some answers. That's right, those allegations were first reported last Friday through a district tip line and it involves multiple players on the varsity football team. That is the talk of the town right now. I mean, I've heard it for the last three days. News here travels fast. The alleged hazing incident troubling to both students and parents. Jarius Arnsworth says his son is a JV football player. He tells us something like this has never happened here. Not no high schoolers talking about some hazing or doing a ritual before a game or whatnot. Montgomery ISD tells us the alleged assault happened off campus at a home. The district says multiple members of the Montgomery High School varsity football team are accused of hazing at least one of their teammates. The details of what happened have not yet been released. This shouldn't happen to nobody, you know what I'm saying? Hazing, you, you don't, we don't call it hazing, you know what I'm saying? You call that a whole different level, you know what I'm saying? Hazing is pushing around, you know what I'm saying? You know I mean, you know, it's a rough house and stuff like that. Late Thursday, the district said it had completed its investigation. The findings will be handed over to the Montgomery County District Attorney's Office, who will then determine if any criminal charges will be filed. Tyson Bracken, a former student, says he hopes those involved are punished, but is skeptical about what might actually happen. Honestly, all I could see is probably maybe them shutting down the sports program for a while. That's the only thing I could see is stopping the football team. I mean, other than that, honestly, I don't know what else they would do. And the district says they are working with both parents and students to provide counseling services for whoever may need them. Live in Montgomery County, Bo Barajas, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Bill, thank you.